Hey, it's me again, Joel, you your reader, and welcome to another video. And for today, I'm going to share with you all the books I purchased for the past couple of weeks and months. Um, books that I hold, but um, not from Big Bad Wolf because I have a separate video. I created a separate video for my Big Bad Wolf 2023 Cebu haul. If you want to check it, I'll put the link of that video on the description box below. Um, and yeah, for now, I'm just going to share with you the books I hold outside from Big Bad Wolf, books I purchased months and weeks and days ago from online stores or online bookstores and local bookstores here in the Philippines. So let's dive right into it. The first one, I'll just present this by the way to you randomly because I was initially planning to present it to you chronologically based on when I purchased them. But again, that was too much, <laughs> too much effort and I don't have time for that. So yeah, I'll just present them to you randomly. Um, the first one is I got this from an online bookstore paging all bookworms. It's pre-ordered from Book Outlet. Uh, last year, last October, it arrived 11 months, approximately almost a year after, which was shocking But there, because there was some problem with the warehouse, um, re readdressing of the re warehouse, etc. So yeah, but anyway, it is what it is. I got the first, uh, the third and final book of the trilogy by Ray, uh, Raymond E. Heist. I think they, the trilogy um, is The Fireman Saga is the name of the trilogy. I have the books one and two for quite a while now and haven't read any of those and this one is the third and final book of the the, the series and um, yeah it's good to have them complete on my shelves or all hardcover for a very cheap price the next question is when I'm going to read them <laughs> so we'll see um, that's actually by the way an adult fantasy the next book I got is I purchased them from a local bookstore called fully book there are three fully book branches here in the Cebu Ayala Central Block and Seaside this one I got from um, fully book Ayala and this is uh, The Rabbit Hatch by Tess Ganti and uh, this is a National Book Award winner. Um, I purchased this because I've heard a lot of great things about this at the same time a lot of bad things about this so I just want to check where I'm at while after reading this if I'm going to love it or really hate it based on the reviews I've read or recommendations I've heard from the people I follow here in social media and Surprisingly, I did like the, the, the book, not love it, not hate it, just somewhat like to like because there are some things that I wish could have been better but I understood where the author is coming from. This is her debut novel so maybe it comes with maturity as a writer, that her writing style and some of the minor edits can be improved in her future work. But anyway, as a debut novel and winning the National Book Award is a great feat and I um, applaud to her. This is a literary fiction and it there's a lot of triggers, especially for animal violence which or animal cruelty, which is you need to check yourself first if you're ready to read a book with that trigger. But anyway, the writing was, was okay, but the characters were, were surprisingly good. So highly recommended, really fast read also. The next book I got, I also bought from Fully Book, but this time, both of these books I purchased from um, Fully Book Seaside. And these are Trust by Hernan Diaz and Demon Copperhead by Barbara King Silver. The main reason why I bought this book because I'm collecting Pulitzer Prize for Fiction winner books. And these are the two books that won this year for the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction. And um, I actually read both, and both I gave five stars and these are actually they actually tied i was actually surprised a lot of people were surprised that the the board was not able to choose one book so they decided to give the the award to two books and this the, it was actually a tie so i read both books i uh, back to back i read this one first um the first half was epically good but the last half was dragging but it was still good still great five star reads barbara king solver's writing style that was was epic. I can't wait to read more of her books because her writing style was just phenomenal. That's what the best thing about I like about the Demon Copperhead and also Damon, of course, or Demon. The, the character, the main character, was uh, uh, such a great character. Um, this one, it's written in three parts. The first part is somewhat written in a, in a book style. The second part is written in a manuscript style. And the third part is written in a diary style and all of these are has the same stories talking about the same couple uh, it's just a matter of different interpretations and different format but it's a well-written book 
the the, the, the writing was really polished the, the the ability of the writer or, or the author to, to, to deliver his book in a very unique way it was really effective i was really hooked i was actually surprised to read and finish this really fast because it's actually a thick book um but demon pepperhead was thicker but this one was thick and yeah the, 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 the what you call this one the plot the premise it was actually all about money and, and answers the question if rich people very very rich people tycoons does have problem what's their problem and this book answers them uh, at the end of the day they regardless of how much they have uh, in terms of money and um, fortune they're still human they're still not immune to disease etc and problems and they have their own version of struggles which it's really refreshing to see because we are used to read books that um is my, a microscopic um of the life of people below uh, the poverty line but this one it's on the other side so it's really refreshing um to read these types of books and yeah probably one of the best books i've read this year the next book i got is i purchased them from an online bookstore called paging all bookworms this is going to be tomorrow tomorrow uh, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow with gravel zevin the hardcover copy which is i was Surprise! I, I actually got this from our own around less than 800 pesos for a hardcover. And um, yeah, this is one also of the books I pre-ordered last year and arrived almost a year after. But it's worth the wait. I was, I purchased this one or because of the hype because people last year have been talking nonstop and praising this book nonstop. So I was actually afraid because of the hype. I don't usually read books um, that are really overhyped. So, but this one, I let it pass and then check it myself. And but of course, I was able to manage my expectations. Diving to this book, I manage my expectations, but I don't want to expect too much, which is a good thing because I ended up loving this book. I totally get the hype, though I still think it's overhyped. This book is great, but the hype it's getting was too much. So that might turn people off when they read it. That they were, there's go, they're going to expect too much from this book. So. I'll be warning you now to manage your expectations in case you're planning to pick this. But anyway, still a great book. Highly still recommend that it talks about the love that we always take for granted. It's a love story, but it's a different type of love story. And it's a love story that needs to be talked about, needs to be placed on the table, and needs to be discussed. Not by just a certain population, but every one of us. Because we, are, we will be able to relate to the, to the story of the main characters and to the lesson that the author is you know um giving to the readers highly recommended well written there are some issues with the plot at the end like i find it very convenient for the characters but anyway it is what it is it's not a perfect book but it's still a good read learn and appreciate a lot of lessons from this highly recommended <laughs> and let's just appreciate how great the cover is perfect read by the way for valentine's or before or come coming into valentine's it's a perfect read next book i got also a pre-order from book outlet um which one of those books arrived almost a year after shorefall by robert jackson bennett i actually read um Fandricide, the first book of the trilogy uh it's actually an adult fantasy trilogy this is the second one uh second installment of the series i read the first book weeks before i finished reading the first book founder said weeks before this one arrived and when this one arrived the first book the, the, the how the first book ended and the things that happened in the first book founder said was still so fresh in my mind and still i almost picked this one up to see my you know to continue the story but i just realized okay i haven't uh had any words if where i can purchase a, a hardcover copy or just a physical copy of um Lucklands, the final book of the trilogy which I'm pretty sure I need to get because Thunderside was really good. Uh, was a really good adult fantasy. The magic system was epic. So I can't wait to read this and also the cover, the spine. Um, smells great too. It's in a perfect condition aside from the remainder mark because yeah, book outlet. Um, the next book I got, it's also part of those batches I pre-ordered from book outlet that arrived a year later. This is the island of the missing trees. It's still in the plastic. I still haven't open it yet because there's a flaw in the dust jacket a big tear i got the discount though from the seller uh because of this one but anyway i i don't know if i'm still going to read this because the main reason why i purchased is because i was 
gravitating towards this book last year when I ordered it. And then after, you know, after a year of waiting and then when it arrived, that excitement of reading or picking this one was no longer there. So I don't know. Depends on my mood in the future. This is an adult literary fiction. Um, actually forgot what the story is all about. I know I was able to appreciate the premise when I ordered this, but yeah, it's been a while. It's been almost more than a year now, and I don't know what this story is about. I think it's a love story where two characters went back to this place where there's these trees were planted. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, but heard of great things about this. The Goodreads rating were also great. I just need to revisit what this book is all about. Uh, yeah, it's, that's it. <laughs> the next book I got, uh, I got this from a local bookstore, Book Me Test. The one from uh, Facebook, I just followed it. And it's really cheap for 100 pesos. This is Where the Red Fern Grows by Wilson Rawls. This is a mass market paperback, which is one of my pet peeves, which when it arrived, I was really disappointed because I thought it's going to be a paperback. But when I opened the parcel, it's actually a mass market paperback. So my excitement on reading this and picking this and, you know, imagining myself reading this was flushing it out of the toilet because I don't usually gravitate in reading. I can't, Im I can't imagine myself reading mass market paperback because of the font size. Um, and yeah, that's just one of my pet peeves. So I'm sad. Hopefully, um, I'll be able to look f uh, to to find a um, physical copy, a mass market, not a mass market paper, like a copy, like a uh, large paperback, large print will be better. Um, but yeah, uh, main reason why I purchased this one because I've heard f from the people I work with in the office from Canada that this is one of the books that they their teachers in primary school or secondary, I'm not sure. Uh, asked them to read and they cried so hard so in case that I'm into reading a very emotional book which involves animals I think because there's a, a dog in the cover I might pick this one up for just for an emotional roller coaster I think the main the other book I got together with the Red Ferns Girl but this one's really cheap also The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton this is a classic I've heard a lot of great things about this this book has been an inspiration for a lot of young adult books that have been published for the past years and this has been blurbed and mentioned in several books that I've loved and I've read. And yeah, I was really curious what this book is all about. I checked the premise. It's something to do with coming of age story. Um, yeah, and it's a young adult book. And yeah, it's really short also. And um, this is, I think, a, a platinum edition. I don't know what that means. Maybe there's an additional content or an interview with the author inside. I don't know, but I covered it for sec to secure the book and i might pick this one up really soon or towards the start of 2024 just for a quick read and yeah we're down to the last book in this video and this is actually the last uh, the the latest book i hold it arrived or this from shopee one of the online stars in shopee during the 1010 sale and this just arrived three days ago two days ago this is bewilderment by richard powers I haven't read anything from Richard Powers. Uh, I owned his copy, uh, Overstory, the one that won the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction. And I haven't read that one yet, though I pl I'm planning to read that today, uh, during this fall. So it's on top of my TBR. Hopefully, I'll be in the mood to pick uh, a magical realism literature. This one is also magical realism, I've heard. And magical realism is one of my pet peeves when it comes to themes uh, on literature. So I'm not that excited to pick those but i've heard great book uh great reviews for overstory and this one it's actually a shortlisted for the 2021 booker prize which i'm excited because i think the the book that won during this time that defeated this is the gathering which i still don't have a copy i became a big fan of booker prize just a couple of weeks ago or a couple of days ago after reading the discomfort of evening and um yeah and of course, Shugi Bane. Shugi Bane, I just finished last night, which is also a winner of Booker Prize. Uh, Discover Evening is a winner of International Booker Prize. So I am not a big fan of the Booker Prize. Probably more more a fan, more fan than the Pulitzer because my experience reading P Booker Prize and International Booker Prize winners has been tremendously positive. 
Um, yeah, I can't wait to haul more books that won or shortlisted the Booker Prize and International Booker Prize and probably in the future explore Women's Prize. But for now, yeah, I am trying to haul and own physical copies of shortlist Booker Prize, previous Booker Prize winners, and then um, International Booker Prize. I've read only two International Booker Prize winners since it's pretty new. It started in 2016. Um, the Vegetarian by Han Kang, that's the first one I've read a couple during the pandemic. It was really dark, it was bleak and depressing and surprising. I think that's the trend in the International Booker Prize because the discomfort of the evening from the title of it, Discomfort, it was really uncomfortable. I there were a lot of discomfort, like of triggers. I'll be probably filming a different video for those for my reviews. But anyway, let's go back to Overstory. This is a magical realism. A lot of people have been um predicting this to win also the Pulitzer Prize a couple of years ago back in 2021, but it was never um shortlisted. I think there's no there's no shortlist. There's always a finalist. Two books and then the winner when it comes to Pulitzer. Yeah. But anyway, this I've heard about great sto uh, reviews. The, the the reviews, the average rating on Goodreads was actually mixed. So we'll see. I'll check into that and probably enjoy these books. Um, yeah, thank you so much. If you reached this video, this part of the video, thank you so much for watching. This is me again, Joel. Happy reading. Take care and keep safe. Bye bye.